Um, the things that always struck me about Ed is how I always felt he did so much for so many. He really embodies what I would think somebody in the Hall of Fame would, would uh, exhibit. And that is a real concern for other people, a uh, willingness to help anytime uh, he can, uh, somebody who's always there. As I said before, I think he is truly a man for others. And I think Ed, at least in my opinion, is one of the most successful guys that ever walked on our campus here at DeSmet. In 1971, Ed Burns came to DeSmet Jesuit when a soccer coaching position became available. He coached freshman soccer with Greg Vitello, a college teammate at St. Benedict's in Kansas. He also coached freshmen and sophomore football and varsity track. As an undergrad, he acquired a business degree, only completing the basic courses needed to teach art. He readily admits having little knowledge about starting a successful art program, but did so by watching, listening, and learning from others. I met Ed for the first time in August of 1966 when we both showed up on St. Benedict's College campus in Atchison, Kansas, and we've been friends ever since. I was just on the faculty here at DeSmet, and young, uh, Ed was just a young teacher that uh, came on the staff, and uh, I really didn't know him from any previous time, but uh, just sort of struck up a friendship over the years, and I've never heard Ed say no to anybody. If he found out that somebody was doing something, he'd be the first one to step forward and ask if he could do anything. And I can honestly say that I'd almost always find Ed working with some student. He was always helping somebody up here, and so he, he just really gave a great deal of himself. His students would always come up after school to seek his help. And uh, I mean, I think that's a great compliment uh, to a teacher. If you enjoy uh, playing cards, you enjoy playing golf, and you, you like to do it with other people, that are going to make it an enjoyable time. Ed is one of those people that you want to have in the group. While he later acquired a master's in art, Ed gathered insight on building a successful art program from his instructors. He also welcomed students back after graduation to offer ways to improve the program. One of the things that a lot of people have forgotten about Ed is what a great craftsman and what a great artist he is. And I think Simply a trip to the chapel will um, give you just a small sense of the talent that this man has. When Ed sculpted that wooden um, sculpture of the Blessed Mother that sits in our chapel to this day, and it's, it's, it's just amazing. The idea of the hundred neediest cases, Ed Burns has just been able to bring out the best in these students and turn out wonderful works. I think it's great that he's being recognized for his accomplishments. We're lucky to have had Ed here for the 38 years we had him. Ed Burns, a DeSmet Jesuit original, a man for others.